Okay, guys, this is a pretty uh, a simple little science experiment, but it does give a pretty good uh, visualization why and how uh, soap is important to use during this uh, outbreak we got going on. Um, you know, just using straight water, yes, it does help some, but once I show you guys this, you guys will probably pretty much understand why they want you to do more than just that. <laughs> and, um, you know, everybody's, everybody's kids are probably home from school and stuff because of the, the shutdowns, but um, I would think that they would probably enjoy this too. Uh, but anyway, just to kind of show you what's going on, um, what I'm going to do is, I, this is, these are just simple stuff most everybody has hanging around the house. Obviously, we got milk, okay? Um, I'm going to pour a little bit of that into this dish. You can use anything you want. Um, you don't, I would suggest using something with fat in it. Um, it works better that way because that's what this is doing. It's bonding to the fat. And it's creating something that water can um, just wash away at that point. Now, before it does that, um, it doesn't really wash the virus away. It, do, it does help some just using straight water, but you're going to understand here in just a minute. <laughs> Again, all I got here is milk, and these are just regular food colorings that you can get anywhere. Most like Again, most people have this stuff already on hand. Q-tips, and what you got here is just Dawn soap, okay? Um, dishwashing soap, and this is just water. Now, what I'm going to do, obviously different color food colorings in here okay there's red and it can be any food coloring guys it's not you don't have to stick to these colors you can do whatever you want um, that's not the why you put the food coloring in here is just to give it a visual so everybody can understand and see what's going on without the, the food coloring you probably wouldn't see much if anything at all but it's pretty amazing what's getting ready to happen here. Um, it most definitely is uh, gives you a really good understanding and a really good visual of what you know what happens when we do use soap. Hopefully, it's just showing up pretty decent. I'm not sure if it is or not. And you can use a little or a lot. Again, it's pretty forgiving. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Q-tip. I'm gonna dip it in water, and obviously you're gonna see what's hap what happens. Okay, nothing's going to happen. It's going to dilute it just a touch, but it's not enough to really see any difference. Now, watch what happens when I dip it in the, the dishwashing liquid. Okay? Watch this. Okay, you guys see that? <laughs> Pretty sure you did. Um, exactly what, you see how instantaneous that was also? What that's doing is the, the dishwashing liquid is bonding to the fat that's in the milk. Okay, and that's essentially what the soap does to the virus. That way when it bonds to it, it allows it to um, get washed away just by regular water. So, you know, it's pretty simple. It's, pretty, it's, it's very, very visual. It's kind of cool. Um, a lot of us probably already knew this, but um, I just think it would be kind of cool to show you show your kids it's just to kind of explain to them why we enforce just using uh soap and this this is why so see how that does that and you can move this around anywhere you go it's going to run from it almost see that so once it bonds it actually allows the water to do its job and wash it down the drain or outside wherever you're at right so again, you know, you put water in here, not going to do much. All right. Put some more liquid in here. I know it's kind of already whatever, but watch this. Okay. Now, once it bonds to all the fat that's in there, it would stop doing this. That's why it's important to, you know, wash your hands for 20 seconds. That way you allow it to bond to the virus so the water can flush it away. All right. So, you know, guys, um, again, it's just milk, you know, dishwashing liquid, any anything works. Generic, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, water, Q-tips, and food coloring. And, um, you know, any age can do this and get something out of it. So, um, hopefully you guys like that or whatever. I just thought it would be cool to show you guys that. 
because we, you know, we, I've been saying since the beginning, wash your hands, wash your hands, and this is why. So, um, yeah.